that class was so amazing. Genius. Everyone gets so crazy and confused about money. And there's no reason why. Because there are only four options. Only four ways to spend money. Hey, Duncan. Hey, Olivia. I just love how Mr. Wilson releases us early so he can duck out of class. You know, Mr. Nesbitt did the same thing. You know that you're trying to find better parking spots for the three o'clock getaway. Oh, I know, but I love it. We get seven whole minutes to chill before the noon bell rings and the gym doors open into Hieronymus Bosch mayhem. All I want to do is to toss on a quick slice and play hoop for the next hour. Staring at that funny little card again, huh? And what was that amazing revelation in economics class? Oh, well, this is the day my life changed. I've been introduced to the most brilliant man I've ever come in contact with. Wow, really? Are you two dating? <laughs> no. He's dead. Who's dead? Yeah, who's dead? Olivia's boyfriend. No, no, he's an economist from like the 70s. He was economic advisor to President Reagan and to hear his take on the economy alone is the most interesting thing. He calls it the free market and he describes it as this living, breathing, undulating force of nature. You talking about Nicki Minaj? <laughs> no. <laughs> His name is Milton Friedman. Uh-huh. And this old dude dumped you for Nikki? No, I just... <sighs> Never mind. Okay, see you later. Thank God. What's with the card thing? My four ways to spend money card? Everyone asked me about my four ways card. Well, yeah, but what is it exactly? Just what it says. There are only four ways to spend money. Don't overthink it. Oh, you know me. I overthink everything. But, you know, money is just a little too... Uh, what, beyond you? D take economics. You'd be all over it. I can't. My dad wants me to take the basics. He wants me to be an all-star job. And what, you can't be both? Is the thrill of a basketball game really that much different than the thrill of banking some serious money? You know, I'm liking the sound of that. But you seem to have it all figured out, huh? Me? Oh, yeah. I'm not here to give money a plug. We all know it's fantastic. Sweet! Be it paper engraved with the president's mug. Could one of you young people perhaps lend the first president a dollar? Or a pretty little piece of plastic? My parents said it's just for emergencies. Yeah, right. To spend or not to spend is not so much the question on whom, how much, and what. It's more about selection, as Joel Gray sang in Cabaret with Elijah. Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. Not to bring you down, but it's not that touchy-feely. When currency's involved, people seldom act genteely. Cause money is part finance, part philosophy. A strange bird called the economy. So no more delays, no more forays. Come into the light and out of the maze and learn when spending. Four ways to spend money. Ow, that's my ear. Sorry. I'm just seriously enthusiastic right now. They just showed the most brilliant DVD in economics class. Let me guess, money? Of course. So, name the four ways to spend money. Cash, credit card, PayPal, Bitcoins. It's actually not a bad answer, but it's wrong. So, here are the four ways. You can spend your own money on yourself, duh. You can spend your own money on somebody else. Generous. I can spend someone else's money on myself. I love that one. <laughs> Bring it on. Or you can spend someone else's money on someone else. Is that number four? I like number four. When you spend your own money on yourself, you naturally do two things. You economize because it's your money, but you also shop around for the highest value because 
again, it's your money. Quality always pays. You should always seek an investment. Otherwise, you're flushing the you-know-what down the you-know-what. Uh, Peter, you realize it's lunchtime, people are eating? Anyway, if you buy the best, within your means, of course, then you never regret it. Which is why everyone should learn the four ways. Four ways? What are the four ways? Why has nobody told me about the four ways? Well, I am. Name four ways to spend money. Okay, um, well, you could spend your money on yourself, I guess, or... Better yet, what's that government thing called? Welfare. They'll spend money on anyone or anything. <laughs> you think I could sign up for that online? Getting back to the video I saw on economics, way number two is economize and do not seek highest value, which is what we unintentionally do when we spend our own money on someone else. Oh, sure, like my best friend Aaron. We've been best friends since the third grade. We constantly hang out. We know everything about each other. What we like, dislike. So anyways, a few weeks ago, it's Aaron's birthday. So I went to the 99 cent store and got him all this cheap, really whack stuff. Oh, whacked and cheap. Nice. This section is called economize and do not seek highest value. It doesn't mean you give him a bag of dirt. He's your best friend. Did you even consider giving him a, what? Video game, movie tickets, nice hoodie? FYI. Guys don't buy guys hoodies. Anyways, no, Aaron totally got the 99 cent gag bag thing. Thought it was hilarious, like the best present ever. And I felt really good because I got out for under 10 bucks. I saw no reason to break my bank. I mean, after all, his family's loaded. I was just curious. I'm not judging. I'm just trying to find out why and where people spend their money. And what do you know, just like the econ video predicted, when friends are involved, people indeed do economize and indeed do not seek the highest value. Oh, nowhere near. I'm really touched. And just a little info for this survey it is you're taking or whatever, the 99 cent store was mobbed. So it's not just me pinching a few pennies. Got it. And FYI back at you, if you ever try that 99 cent gag bag bit with a girl, she'll burst into tears. Really? Whoa. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> so are, are we done here? I hope not. It's finally bordering on something that can become semi-interesting. What's interesting? Even semi-interesting. Olivia's teaching us the four ways to spend money. I know a hundred ways. No, there are only four. That doesn't seem right. No, it's the truth. Way number three is don't economize, yet seek the highest value. Oh, I automatically do that anyway. Right, it's called spending someone else's money on yourself. Sounds like credit card fraud. <laughs> no, all it means is if you're spending someone else's money on yourself, you're going to get a pretty good lunch, as my dad would say. Anyway, the other day he yells for me to come upstairs. He's like, look what I found, a $100 bill stuffed in the back of my sock drawer. Here, take it, enjoy. I was freaking out. Money with no strings attached, no babysitting, no kitchen duties. All I had to do was spend it? But the point is, when you're spending someone else's money and when you're on someone else's dime, you don't think for a minute not to splurge. I love not economizing and getting the highest value. I love getting free prime rib and tickets to sporting events. <laughs> Back to business. Way number four, don't economize and don't seek highest value. Translated, spending somebody else's money on somebody else. What does that even mean? It means, like with the government. Like you know so much about the government and economics. It means... That government employees spend other people's money, the taxpayers, on all kinds of stuff. It's not their money, and most importantly, it's not for them. So who cares how much something costs, or if it breaks after one use? In fact, if the government departments don't spend all their budget, they'll probably get less money the next year. So they spend it, use it, or lose it. Okay, I'm in. Just one question. How do you know so much about this stuff? Well, my dad's a government employee. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm serious, why are you laughing? I think Olivia here has finally taught me into taking economics next term. Hmm. Yep. I'm getting the bug. 
I wonder who else might get the bug. to be happy, at least as happy as you. Spend someone else's money on yourself. Is that a federal crime? Be it someone's fat expense account or welfare. It's not our time. Jumbo jets, jumbo shrimp. When it's not our dough, we sell them scrimp. Spending money that's not my own. Got it. Love it. I'm in the zone. If you've no stake in product or price, don't even think once, let alone twice. And that's how government funds get wasted. Iconic. 40% of the pie never tastes dead. Moronic. It needs a change, a fresh approach, a new officiator, a better calculator, a defibrillator. Everyone stand back! Clear! Whoa. I just saved no. Resurrected the life of big government spending. Dude, you're psycho. Actually, we were hoping for a quick death, not followed by an expensive state funeral. It's called saving a buck. Oh, my bad. You're an idiot. <laughs> Always be well.